Hey there, and welcome back. Today we talk about reverbs. Reverb are my favorite pedal. I use them all the time, and I collected many during the year, but these ones are my favorite one, and I would like to uh, introduce them to you and then give you a little example on how I use them. So let's just go through them very quickly uh, to describe what they do. So Aventide Space uh, has been with me many, many years. It's hooked up on my mixer in a send and return, uh, as a send and return effect. It's one of my favorite uh, reverb ever. It has uh, a lot of uh, tweaking possibilities, but I end up using few presets and it's probably the only, uh, the only things I'm, I, I'm using with presets. <laughs> I love how a few of them sounds and I will show you later. Uh, rooms. It's a recent acquire, and if you follow me, you know that I'm using this extensively. I love it. It's very simple. It's very, uh, it has a very strong character. Uh, all the control are laid out on the front, so it's you can have a lot of hands-on control, and they react very greatly. So. It's definitely more towards uh, performance rather than set it up and forget it. I really, really, really love it. Even this one goes uh, into a um, send and return effect. Blue Sky, I own this guy since ages two. It was my go-to reverb when I used to use continuously my uh, Roland 303. This one plus the dig, uh, from stream on uh, as well, the uh, uh, delay was my favorite chain. Simple three uh, type of reverb and uh, very simple to tweak. The Impress reverb, I got this few days ago. I am already in love with this guy. I used to know their uh, reverb algorithm because uh, I own the Zoya. I was thinking if putting the Zoya into this shootout, but uh, Zoya is way much more than a reverb, so it deserves its own video. It's very simple to use because it has all the uh, knob laid out in front. It has a lot of uh, um, algorithm and sub-algorithm, so it's pretty interesting to just use it as a creative tool. I still not decided if this will go in a send return effect or I will use it with particular instrument. Dark Wall, Chase Bliss, very, very unique reverb. Uh, it's definitely towards some creative use and some uh, uh, experimental use. We'll see how. I usually use it uh, with just one instrument, uh, because also it's mono. So it's more when I do some sound design, some exper experimental sound design, this come very, very handy. And in, at the end, we have the Microcosm from Hologram Electronic. Uh, this is not just a reverb, but it has on the granules uh, um, uh, algorithm here, haze and tunnel that to me sounds some sort of very experimental uh, reverb. Also, it has this space knob here that had reverb to the patch, and I feel it sounds very, very good. So I decided to add this one to this review. Okay, I will feed each pedal with some audio from my Octatac, so you guys can hear what they do, what they do and how I like to use them. Let's try it. All right, let's start with the Dark World and Blue Sky. I use these guys always uh, with one uh, instrument, never as send and return effect. Uh, they're simple and I like to tweak them uh, to have what I want for a particular sound. So I'm gonna feed a sequence from my Vermona performer into these guys and we'll try it one by one. Let's start with the Dark World. So Dark World has two parts. One is the dark and one is the world. So this part here, it's what works as reverb. Well, this one works as some sort of modifier and them together actually gives 
this pedal is uniqueness. You can decide to run them in parallel or first dark into the word or the word into the dark. So let's hear how it sounds one by one. In this case, I'm using the hole. With this, you decide dry and wet signal and the tone. Can go darker here or brighter. Let's try the plate. And finally, spring. Very nice. Let's hear this other part. You have three different setup. Mod, shim, and black. Mod, it's a sort of... A as you can hear, it had some artifacts in making a little lo-fi, like VHS somehow. Shimmer is a shimmer. And then we have the black, that is a sort of sustainer. And you can decide when it's gonna get triggered, so it sustains a, a, a drone, a note, whatever. Okay, the fun part is like when you start hooking up these two effects together. You can run them in parallel like this. But now I have a hole running into the, uh, and parallel the mod. But then you can just, now I have the dark into the world. into the dark. As you can hear, this is a kind of wild uh, reverb, it's not your average one, and it's very interesting to give a sort of a low-fi, melancholic tone to your uh, instrument. It really sounds great with synths and with sequence like this one. I never use it with uh, rhythm uh, parts, but let's hear. Spring is very nice with rhythm. like you hear these sounds coming from a room very very far away so I really like the dark word it's very fun to use it's unique and I hope you have a sort of idea of how you can use it of course there's more to know about it but I want to just give you uh, a round trip all right Let's try now the Blue Sky. Blue Sky has three types of reverb, plate, room, and spring. 
and then you have a mode for each type so normal mode that adds some modifications some uh, I guess some warbling and then shimmer and then you can decide decay mix the low and high damp and the pre-delay plus you can save some uh, setup uh, some preset just one in this case in this one I think you have three preset okay let's hear it now it's played some control like this here the pre-delayed create this kind of weird sound You can see this is a very simple pedal to use and that's why I love it so much. You don't have to learn about it too much. You just plug in and deal things and it works perfectly. There's some under the hood setting you can do. We are not going through that. Also because I don't remember, but this is one of my all time favorite. Let's hear with some drum. I use this guy many times with my, with my 808 or 606. Time now to move to the other one. So let's try now Death by Audio Rooms and Impress Effects Reverb. Let's start with this guy. 
So the reverb has a lot of different algorithms. We have some very well-known one like whole plate, spring and room, and then we have some more creative one. That is why this pedal is so fun to tweak. The controls are decay, mix, output, low, high, thing one and thing two. These are clear, low and high also push the EQ. Thing one and thing two, it's uh, relative to the mode you are using. So for all algorithms, these do different things. Now I cannot go through all of them. Let's just have a quick sound test so you hear how this thing sound. Start with the hole. As you can see for each algorithm there's some sub mode. For example there's a brighter spring reverb. A darker one. Output it's nominal at noon, so if there's some distortions because I'm pushing it. So I'm still not super familiar with all of the modes, but I just like whenever I record something to go through them and play them and feel what they do. Sparkle, of course, is some shimmering kind of effect. I love this modulation one. I used it for a track a few days ago and it's pretty nice. This is beautiful one. It's a sort of tremolo. Super fun to use. The ambient swell worked probably best with some other kind of uh, sequence. This is nice. We have delay reverb. You can see how this is can get very wild and very creative. Reverse is one of my favorite algorithms in the other pedal, the Empress Ecosystem. And it reverse, of course, the river is very nice for ambient kind of experimentation. This one I really, really love. Kind of spooky. But Ghost is the spooky one. We'll go to there. This is one of my favorite too. It's had this long tail that is, as they say, spooky, spookiness.
lo-fi, getting your signal pretty lo-fi. It doesn't work as a sound effect, so it also affects your uh, original signal. It's pretty nice. If you are looking for some kind of uh, uh, warbliness, some um, tape, cassette kind of effect, this is your friend. And beer, it's the wild, wild one. Ooh. Okay, rather than go again using the drum for everything, let's go very, very fast. nice to add even a little touch to give some kind of space. Let's keep spark modulation probably works better with synths. This is particularly fun. You have to set your tempo for the delay with hands, but it's kind of interesting. Reverse is particularly fun. You can hear why. Nice. And Ghost, since he has more on the high frequency, doesn't really affect the kick, so it's kind of nice. Doesn't make the mix too. Monday. All right. Okay, I hope you have uh, an idea on how this beautiful pedal works. Uh, I'm super excited to have this one. Uh, I, I will dig a lot into this in the next few months. All right. It's time for Death by Audio Rooms. Uh, I guess if you follow me, you are aware that this guy has been featured in like every one of my videos since I got it. I love Death by Audio, I love their approach in uh, designing this kind of uh, pedals. They all have a lot of character, they are never your average kind of thing they have their own unique take but you can also use it as a regular river if you want so you have a freck and depth uh, control on the top uh, th those actually have a, a different uh, function basing on the algorithm you use there are six algorithm room digit peak gate wave and gong that you select with this guy you can uh, actually decide the, separately the dry signal and the wet signal and then time of course with alt you engage these three different uh, set of control that is time uh, frequency and depth so basically you can some sort of have a different preset that you can engage just with a push of a button Let's start with the first uh, algorithm, rhythm, room. I like having the chance when the room is engaged to dial in 
the dry and the wet signal. It allows for a lot of uh, live experimentation. And I recommend if you have this pedal to really play it because it gets in very weird territories and of course I love it. Try the second algorithm. Dig it. It introduces a sort of delay time. Try peak. Peak is a is a sort of filter added to the uh, reverb. I really like it because it's it makes easy for you to select a particular band and uh, not make the mix uh, too heavy with reverb. So let's hear just the effects. Here you can just select. And it's nice with drums, so you can just avoid to affect the bass frequencies. Gate. Definitely now we are getting in a more creative algorithm. Again, this is a pedal that asks you to tweak in live. Also, I have to say, the design is superb. I love having big knobs like this. It's, it's just beautiful. And the final one is gone. That had some sort of resonance that creates, it really changed the, the instrument. It's really interesting, even if you use just the wet signal. Let's feed some drum. Very, very interesting. Peak, you can basically select frequency better. So now I'm reverberating more the higher end of the sound. But then I can go low. Gate is like gate reverb that actually works very nice with drums. Here, the gating. It's 
very useful for drums. Back in a weird territory. And gone. A nice overview of this two beautiful pedal. Let's now try the last two one. Okay, here we are with the last two pedals. Hologram Electronic Microcosm and Eventide Space. Microcosm is not really an uh, average refer pedal. It does a lot, a lot of things, but sometimes I'm using it for his kind of ambience and reverb effect. Uh, he has a lot of algorithm, but uh, and also for each algorithm, you can add with the space knob an actual reverb, and you can decide just the time and the space, so it's not a very deep, uh, controllable one. But I find out that granules, uh, the granules algorithm here, can be used in a very weird kind of reverb uh, type of effect. So it's, it's impossible for me now to get very deep with this pedal because literally it's an instrument by itself. But let's hear what it does. So you can sync this guy with MIDI. Right now I just tap tempo you can decide the activity the kind of repeats how it's the time is subdivided and each effect here does a different thing now you are hearing the haze one for haze you have four different parameter so let's hear that can hear kind of sounds like a pumped up reverb with something else happening under the hood. It's very beautiful. You can add your space. some kind of shimmering going on. This is interesting. Let's, not, let's now try Tunnel. So I won't go too much further on this pedal, I just wanted to add it because uh, if you want an all-in-one solution, uh, a very creative one and have a lot of chances to really uh, experiment with your sound, this could be a good choice because you will definitely have the effect and also you have a simple reverb so you can really, really do some very weird sound design with just the microcosm. I will do a video about this by itself and how I'm using it with my live set because it's pretty great 
the way you can create um, interesting soundscapes that goes well with your sequences and your music going on. Let's add some drum. using it uh, with my uh, in a separate mixer channel so I can uh, keep it like uh, fully wet because this is the way you get very interesting sounding patches Very cool. Again, too hard to give a full overview of this pedal in a quick way. So you need to wait for its own video. Okay, and let's end with the mighty Aventide Space. It's probably my most beaten up pedal. I own this guy since ages. Uh, it has always been used in my production. Uh, I should talk more about this guy, but I end up using it with a few presets that I really love and they're always on and they always sound amazing. Of course, Aventide is one of the leading uh, brand for this kind of effect, so I feel that this is the kind of reverb that cover all of your basic need for reverb. Uh, I always recommend to have one of these because you will have many presets, some of them pretty unique, so we can go through it. We have whole room, plate, spring, dual verb, reverse, mode, echo verb, black hole that is one of their uh, signature, mangled reverb, tremolo and dynaverb, shimmer. I think that's it. So, uh, honestly, this is a very, very deep pedal. It has a lot of uh, settings you can play with. It's fully MIDI uh, uh, controllable. So for my way of using, sometimes it's a, a little overwhelming and I find out that if you take it pretty easily and uh, you use some of the preset and then modify those, it's the way that works for me. So let's hear how it sounds. Let's start with the hole. Oh. So you start with the mix and then you have just the regular kind of control, decay, size, delay, that would be usually the pre-delay. The EQ. And then X and Y knobs are relative to the mode you are using. Same the effects mix. And contour sometimes is a mid Q. Sometimes it works differently basing on the uh, algorithm you are using. As you hear, it sounds gorgeous and it's like classic reverb you expect from Aventide. I mostly use hole. Again, this one is always hooked up in my uh, send and return effect mixer. So it's where I need a classic kind of reverb and I can use it on everything, drum, synths, anything. It's beautiful washed up with this. It has its own channel on the mixer so I can EQ further the bass, the high, I can cut the bass so it doesn't mud, mud my mix. You can save, of course, a lot of presets, this one. Let's try room.
room is subtler, but it's nice. A, a little ambience. Great with drums. Blade. spring you can add tremolo to it and mod and also with the pre-delay since spring usually doesn't have any pre-delay control you decide the number of spring lovely it's fun to control this with midi because you can get this kind of effect, like when you hit the springs. Dual verb has two reverb that you can independently control, A and B. So you can play with the pre-delay and create uh, some kind of nice delay effect. Reverse, we saw it in other reverb. Very cool. This had flanger. And cars. So it adds mod. Uh, some kind of mod effects to the reverb. It's beautiful for like ambient kind of wash. Nice. Black hole is one of their signature. It's a long tail reverb, it's huge can freeze the feedback and have this kind of uh, uh, drone. You can invert gravity. Interesting. that add some kind of distortion compression so it's these are definitely the more creative preset here this pedal can be extremely deep so you can definitely create a lot of interesting noise with it tremolo it's those are like kind of things that I don't use a lot Dynaverb it's interesting, it had a threshold in which the delay would happen. Sounds amazing with my 303. The compression can clear the attack of the instrument and then have the tail coming out after the transient. So it's very interesting to use with more rhythm, rhythmic instrument. The dynamo, sorry. And then shimmer, of course. It's a shimmer there. And that's it. Let's add some drum and let's just go quickly through it. Maybe not the shimmer. I really like the Dynaverb with the uh, drums. It's nice to have the EQ well laid out here. This is 
in this case these are the compressor setting because for drum you can just remove the unwanted frequencies and I would use spring oops sorry It has a top tempo that I didn't use it so far, but it could be nice to use in conjunction with the rhythm. Let's try some classic room. Sometimes I like to add some room reverb, very, very short, very, very subtle, but it definitely had that touch. And let's see. Oh. All is my favorite for this one. It allows you to have frequency also on the mid, so you can... And you can the, use this with guitars, with the effects. There's some uh, switch in the back to select the impedance and uh, uh, the level input. So it's, it's uh, an instrument that is thought for the uh, player, but also for the studio usage, it's it's as professional as it gets, unless you want to go with a bigger, like H3000 uh, amazing effect. I love it. I will never sell it. This is always will always be on my mixer as a sand editor effects. All right. I think we covered them all. It has been a long, 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 long review and shootout. I hope you guys enjoyed to see how I use my reverb pedal. And yeah, those are my absolute timeless favorite one. I hope to see you soon again. I will prepare for the next time a shootout uh, for my favorite delay pedal and that is my the other effects that I love that I use all the time okay guys have a great day see you soon